Welcome to Mint. We have today with us Professor Kavil Ramachandran, a professor who is in charge of the family business uh, teaching and research in Indian School of Business. Professor, thank you so much for coming to Mint. My pleasure. Uh, professor, uh, you have launched a specialized master's course on the family businesses. What is the need of it and how it is different than what is available right now in Indian B schools? Yeah, uh, ISBS evolution per se, if you look at it, uh, 2001 when ISB was set up, there was a market need, there was a social need. So we have always looked at the, the need uh, to be filled in the emerging market context, particularly the Indian context. So when we uh, started having programs, uh, multiple programs, including programs for family business, we found that the contribution of family business to the national economy uh, is very, very high. Uh, if I put some statistics uh, over the past two decades, the performance of uh, uh, family business has been, uh, I would say, uh, has been better than either public sector or even multinational organizations. So if you take in terms of numbers, uh, the top 50 firms, uh, half of them are family controlled. If you take the uh, top uh, 500 firms, we find that about 73% uh, are family controlled. And that percentage will only rise if you include uh, medium-sized firms. There is a, uh, if we can do something to improve the performance of family businesses, if we can do something to, uh, to ensure that the family businesses survive and go beyond second or third generation, that will be a great contribution made to the society, to the economy. Okay. So in that context, we found that uh, one major challenge is to uh, prepare the younger generation to take up the challenges, to take up the responsibilities of leading the family business. That too in this phase when we have the economy is growing around 7-8 percentage per annum, the younger generation has a huge entrepreneurial opportunity, leadership opportunity, professionalization opportunity. Okay, So therefore we felt that uh, if we can develop a program like this uh, focused on the younger generation, then we will be uh, meeting the society's requirement. You believe that uh, the new startups, the SMEs, the new medium-sized companies, as the country grows, they will grow and they can survive much longer than what absolutely. is the... Absolutely, absolutely. See, they should uh, learn from the experiences of, let's say, within the country itself, uh, families uh, like the Murugappa, for instance, which is fifth generation. They started as a small company. There are enough number of examples of uh, companies or the groups which have started from scratch and grown to become big. And there are cases even for instance uh, Dabber, which started as a small uh, medical uh, hospital arrangement, has become a big business, five generation old. So they have been able to do professionalize uh, not only the management, but also the governance. So what, it, what is going to happen is that if this kind of a trend continues, uh, everybody is going to be uh, benefiting. It's a win-win for everybody. So the professionalism is definitely coming to the family beyond emotions. Absolutely. See, the, uh, what I say is that uh, you will be wearing multiple hats. You are wearing the family hat, you are wearing the business hat. When you are wearing the business hat, remember that you are a professional. Okay. Okay. You should not bring the family emotions to, into that. So I think that separation of these things will be required and that comes through a lot of training. It's not easy, but through training, through introspection, through uh, thinking through, uh, you will be better prepared for that. Professor, thank you so much for your insight about uh, the family business and it's their, 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 their context in the Indian scenario. That's all we have from the Mint today. Uh, stay tuned for more.